Welcome back to Fireplace Story. I look forward to sharing this book with you. From our home to yours. <gasps> Are you excited? It's nearly Christmas. I hope you've been good girls and good boys because I'm sure there will be one present from Santa or Father Christmas, whichever you might call. Let's get started. I've got a lovely book all about someone called Farmer Christmas. And this book is called Farmer Christmas. It's written by Catherine Baddeley and illustrated by Sophie Bow jones Let's get started. But remember, if you want a copy of this book, there's a link in the description below. Farmer Christmas. Three little children ask their mummy one day, what does Father Christmas look like? And have you seen his sleigh? She laughs. Oh yes, I've seen it. And Father Christmas too. I saw him when I was a little girl, about the same age as you. <gasps> wow, look. He wears a big woolly jumper, which is red with a white fur trim. And his sleigh is packed with presents, full right up to the brim. He wears a pair of wellies, which keep his toes all warm. And they're lined with fur and snug inside to keep him dry in a storm. <gasps> wow, that sounds lovely. What else? What else? The children cry. Tell us what you know. Well, he has a big round belly that wobbles to and fro. And his beard is long and fluffy, all soft and white as snow. Is he very jolly, Mummy? And does he always know whether we've been bad or good and what presents we'd like if so? Oh yes, she laughs. He's very jolly and very clever too, to remember all the presents, even one for you. But where does he live? The children ask. At other times of the year. Why? Don't you try to find him? She asks. He may even live quite near. Oh, look, it's a lovely picture, a map of the village where they live. Here's the children's house, here's the school, here's the farm. Let's find Father Christmas, the children shout. We can ask him about his sleigh. Let's go to the village and see if he's there today. So off they went to the village to hunt for a fluffy white beard, a big fat man with a jolly round face. We'll find him today, they cheered. They went to the shop in the village and down the aisles they peered, but they couldn't see a jolly old man not even one with a beard. Dear, they're looking really hard. He's definitely not in the village shop. They went to the park and they played all day, but didn't see a woolly jumper or anything that looked like a sleigh. But who's this? But then they see a friendly face. And goodness, what do you know? It's Farmer Nick, who lives nearby, with a beard as white as the snow. He is wearing a red woolly jumper with fur to keep him warm. And his wellies 
are soft and snug inside to keep him dry in a storm. Oh, he looks very like Santa, doesn't he? Or Father Christmas. His face is round and jolly and he does look rather fat. Are you Father Christmas? They ask. And he smiles, giving his tummy a pat. Ho, 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 ho. I'm Farmer Christmas. He laughs, his face all jolly and pink. I don't have reindeer or a sleigh, but I do have a tractor, he winks. Here's my tractor, he points. It's big and shiny and red. But where do all the presents go? The children excitedly said. Well, wow. Well, the tractor has a trailer, he says, which I can easily tow. So the presents go in the trailer and they come wherever I go. But how will we see you on Christmas Eve? The children jump and cry. Why? Just look out your window, he laughs, high up into the sky. And from your bed, you can wave to me as my tractor flies right by. Wow, can you see in the picture? There goes the tractor and the trailer. And they've got a lovely little poem about Christmas Eve at the back. On Christmas Eve, high on a hill, in a big brown shed, Farmer Christmas is getting out of bed. He brushes his beard and puts on his hat, puts on his wellies, gives his tummy a pat. Well, 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 he says, it's Christmas Eve. Time to visit all the children that believe. With presents and magic and Christmas cheer, I'll deliver to those who've been good all year. And how does he deliver all the presents this day? With his tractor and trailer used as a sleigh. So off he rumbles to each girl and boy, driving his tractor full of festive joy. His big red tractor roars across the skies, full of presents, tinsel and mince pies. And then it comes to the end of the night and Farmer Christmas has finished his flight. And so, high on the hill, in a big brown shed, Farmer Christmas is going to bed. He's all snuggled up in his bed in the hay, dreaming of his tractor and of Christmas Day. What a lovely, lovely book. And maybe this year you'll have a look out for Farmer Christmas and his tractor and trailer going through the sky. He could be the person that's delivering presents to you. If you like this book, give us a thumbs up and please do subscribe as we've got many more books coming out this Christmas period. If you want a copy of this book, there's also a link in the description below. From our home to yours, Merry Christmas.